Hi again, welcome back to my living room where I make my videos for you. I hope you've all had a good week. Hope you've enjoyed some of the sunshine, maybe got outside to play or go to the beach or something exciting like that. You met these guys last time, didn't you? This is Jesus with the mad hair and this is all his disciples. And last time they were all sitting at a table having a meal together. We're thinking about the fact that they were all friends. You know, I don't think the disciples said, Dear Jesus, Son of God, you are holy, please pass me the salt. Or I'd like some fish. I think they just said, Jesus, can I have some salt, please? You know, they wouldn't have, it wasn't like that for them, I think. I think they were more like to sit around and chat and tell jokes and maybe play I spy or something like that. They were just normal people who were friends with Jesus. This time, the disciples were all sitting chatting with Jesus underneath a tree. And then in the distance, they could see a crowd of people coming towards them. It was probably mummies, and there says there was lots of children. The parents, the mummies, wanted the children to get blessed by Jesus. You know the way at the communion service, when we go in, you go up to the front and you kneel down, and Simon, or the minister, will say a prayer, put his hand on your head, and he'll say a prayer for you, and ask for a blessing for you. Well, that's what those mums wanted for their children and they wanted Jesus to do it. They knew that Jesus was special and they really wanted a special blessing from Jesus. Now, when the disciples saw the crowd of children coming towards Jesus, they thought, Jesus hasn't got time for all these children. Jesus is too important to be doing that job. So they went and started chasing the mums and their children away. Jesus wasn't happy with that. Jesus loves children. He knows how special and amazing children are. And he said, let them come to me because the kingdom of heaven is made up as, of such as these. He said, children are part of heaven. Children are meant to be my friends. And actually in other places, Jesus tells the adults, the grown-ups, that they need to be more like children and just accept Jesus as their friend and just have faith in him, just the way you all do. You see, Jesus knows how special you children are and he loves you so much. So when the children did come to him, he put his hand on them, he prayed for them, he blessed them. And in, you, in some versions of the Bible, the mission, it, uh, the message, sorry, the message Bible even says that he hugged them or let them sit on his knee. Wouldn't that be lovely? What would you talk to Jesus about? Or what do you think those children would have said to Jesus? I think they would have told them maybe about, they would have maybe done a handstand to show that they can do that. Or maybe they would have talked about their favourite food or their favourite animals. I there'd been lots of things they'd talk about with Jesus. But it wouldn't be as formal as we pray when we pray in church. They would have just chatted with them. So what I'd like you to do today I'd like to, you to imagine that Jesus is coming to your house for tea. One day he actually said to a wee man called Zacchaeus, I'm coming to your house for tea. So I want you to imagine that Jesus is coming to your house for tea or for a cup of tea. And what would you say to him? What would you want to show him? Would you want to show him your favourite toy? Would you want to play a tune for him? Would you want to do your favourite dance moves for him? Or would you just want to sit there and listen to what he says? How would you react or what would you do if Jesus came to your house? Jesus would love spending time with you. He always loves spending time with you. And even if he's not physically in your house, he can still be beside you. And you can just talk to him as if he is inside your head. Isn't that brilliant? We're going to do a wee special prayer time. I've got, I've got ah, one of these, you know these from school. Have you ever made one of these? We've got this to help us with our prayers today. Now, I'm not going to show you how to make it because I think you probably knew better than me how to make it. I haven't made one since I was at school and I had to go onto YouTube to find out how to do it. So we're going to use this to help us with our prayers today. We're going to find out what we're going to talk to Jesus about and then you're going to say it inside your head. So first of all, I'm going to choose the colour green because that's Zach's favourite colour. So G R E E. Then I'm going to look inside and I'm going to go for number seven here. And it says, <clears throat> tell 
Jesus your favourite animal or pet? You do that now. Okay, we're going to go again. This time Samuel's favourite colour is blue. So we're going to use blue. B L U E. And I think I will go for the number one this time. It says, tell Jesus your favourite colour. You tell him your favourite colour now. It's a quick one. Now I'm going to do it again. And I'm going to go for yellow this time because it's one of my favourite colours and it's Jenny's favourite colour too. So Y E L L O W. And I think I'm going to go for number four. It says, tell Jesus something you're scared of. You do that? We'll do one more. Uh, we haven't done red yet, so we'll do red. R E D. And I think I will go for the number three this time. It says, tell Jesus the best movie you have ever seen. And maybe you could tell him why you liked it so much as well. I think he'd love to hear that too. Brilliant. Now you can make one of these and you can use that for your chats with Jesus because it's quite a good fun way of, of getting hints and clues of what you talk, could talk to him about. And also I want you now to go and do or find that thing that you would want to show Jesus if he came to your house and then you're going to say, Jesus, I know you're with me just all the time and show him and tell him what it is that you have. I hope you have a really, really good week. I hope you have lots of chats with Jesus during the week. And I'm sure he's got something lovely to say back to you if you listen. See you soon. Bye.